Welcome to today's session. Today we're going to be working with Isaac Smith. He's a rower for Melbourne University. We're going to go through the coaching points using the motion kit for the clean. So, one of the most important things when working with an athlete is definitely about the setup prior to the lift. And where the motion kit really helps me when I'm coaching is to make sure that they, the athlete can set up correctly and also that I can get a visual to make sure that the alignment is all set up ready to to do the lift. The lift is very dynamic, so there probably isn't much coaching points going on during the lift, but there's definitely an easy way of, of checking the start position and the end position very clearly on the, on the clean. So Isaac, if you just want to just set up for me, and you'll notice straight away that the leg width can be marked by the shin line from here, and that's where we can get that good position on, uh, across the bar right at the starting grip. Then when Isaac tightens up and just drops his hips and gets into position, the first thing that I would look for is just this alignment. You've got the dotted line here, the knee, just making sure that that looks comparable on both sides. And also that we want the shoulders to be slightly in front of the bar. So when you're looking at this, this dot here, if I actually get you to sit back for me, sit back, sit back, sit back, can you sit back? This would be slightly incorrect squatting pattern. What you'll notice when we get into here is that you can start seeing a lot more of the red lines. What I want you to do is get those shoulders in front and you almost see that the red line slightly disappears. Okay, so that's a really good reference point for me. If Just relax there for me and stand up. It's really quite hard to stay down in that posture position all the time. But what you'll notice is if an athlete who has a very dominant squat pattern in their training, they would tend to want to sit a little bit back and you'll just start to see that red line. So it's a really easy point for me to reference just to make sure that that starting position is correct. If you want to do one rep for me and get to your final position, we will um, then look at some of the, the movement as we go through this dynamic movement and see where the bar finishes up. Beautiful, good. So my next checking point is when we finish with this nice high elbow position is again, it sits somewhere between the two red lines and if you just drop the elbows down, which we see in some lazy lifters, you'll get that impression. And it shows up very clearly about where the red lines and where we want those elbows. When we get the elbows nice and high, we get a really good uh, shelf for the bar to sit at at the end of the clean. So for me, when we're working specifically with Isaac, these are the two points we look for, because sometimes I find his elbows drop when he gets up into that top position. And then the other one is that one at the start position, just to making sure that he's not sitting too far back in his technique. 